My name is Steve Lee. I'm the principal engineer manager for PowerShell. Uh, that includes both PowerShell Core, uh, PowerShell Editor Services, Script Analyzer, and also Windows PowerShell. Uh, I work at Microsoft in the Azure Compute organization. Uh, I first started using PowerShell before I, I took the PowerShell team. That probably would have been at least eight years ago when I was on the WMI team. Um, uh, I was not a heavy PowerShell user at that time. I was doing more uh, coding. Uh, I think only until probably I took over PowerShell that I really became entrenched in doing a lot of PowerShell. So since uh, I own the PowerShell GitHub repo, a lot of my scripting these days is really writing pester tests for PowerShell itself. Uh, part, a lot of my team members do write PowerShell scripts for deployment, release, packaging, and all that stuff. Um, but for me personally, besides writing uh, pull requests to fix issues in PowerShell, a lot of my PowerShell scripts is PowerShell tests. Um, one of the things that we targeted PowerShell Core for is really managing web uh, workloads. So we partner with VMware, we partner with AWS, Google Cloud, uh, and of course Azure. And there's commandments for all these things where you're managing your assets either on-prem or in the cloud. So if for anyone, I think, doing cloud workloads and doing management, which is key to uh, making sure your cloud workloads are working, I think learning PowerShell and using PowerShell is critical. I don't think there's anything else right now that is cross uh, on-prem, off-prem, and cross-cloud. So before I answer that specific, I, I think I've attended a few of the sessions, and I'm actually very impressed by the level of technical depth in a lot of the presentations, especially people outside of Microsoft. Uh, I think that for me personally, since I uh, did take over PowerShell team um, not that long ago, uh, in Dombo's presentation, who reports to me, uh, he talked a lot about the PowerShell uh, engine internal. So I knew quite a bit about uh, everything up until the uh, expression tree and how all that works with the Lambda expressions and interpreter. So all that was uh, somewhat new to me. I knew some of it at a high level, but it was, it was actually very good to see him talk and uh, learn about the, some of the details, because uh, I had been on vacation before when he had preparing the presentations. I hadn't seen it before. So that was really interesting for me. Uh, so this is the first time I've been to uh, Germany. I've been to Europe one, one other time before for work. Uh, compared to some of the other conferences, I'm actually very impressed by the organization of the conference itself. I'm also impressed by the camaraderie from the attendees. Like, it feels like it's very uh, welcoming. I, even though I don't know a lot of people here, I feel like they know me, and it makes it feel very friendly and welcome. That's not to say other conferences aren't so, but I, I think that the size of this conference is actually impressing me, as well as the technical depth. So I've so far been enjoying it. I hope I come back next year. I hope I send some more of my people over next year as well so we can get some fresh faces. Uh, I think it's really good to interact directly with a lot of people who are very enthusiastic about Parsha. Like, a lot of my interactions are via GitHub, and you don't get a lot of nuances of why they're asking a certain question. Um, and, you know, as much as I like working with people directly via GitHub issues and whatnot, having talk to them, talking to them now, understanding, like, what are their pain points, um, what's most critical to them, and picking up that feedback really helps me decide, all right, for the next version of PowerShell, these are the types of things we need to focus on, not specific issues, but the class of issues.